I can't believe I'm gonna say this again. Today, we find ourselves in the middle of nowhere. We're always in the middle of nowhere. That's because, and when you find yourself in the middle of nowhere, that means you're gonna find something good. And we have a good one today. Behind us is a gate, and just beyond that gate, about a half a mile down the road, is a filming location from a Netflix show called The Haunting of Hill House. Just come my way wherever I go Hard luck is dead and stay Good luck never stays a day A bad luck's always a coming my way When I said that behind me was a gate, I don't think you really understand what I was talking about. This gate right here, just look at it. It screams horror. It screams spooky. It screams haunted. And that's right, right down this road is the haunting of Hill House, the Crane family home. All right, Jessica, go stand over there so we can see how massive this gate really is, the scale of it. Just look at this thing. Holy crap. I'm five foot four. You are, yeah, she, I don't, she is five foot four. This gate has to be about 20 feet tall. Just look at this thing. Beautiful. This, my friends, is the Hill House. Supposed to be haunted, well in the TV show at least, The Haunting of Hill House. It is beautiful. Hill House, not sane, stood by itself against its hills holding darkness within. It had stood so for a hundred years before my family moved in and might stand a hundred more. Within, walls stood upright, bricks met neatly, floors were firm, silence lay steadily against the wood and stone of Hill House. It's pretty much this side of the house, or shall I say, this side of Hill House that you see in the TV show, and pretty much everything. Mm -hmm. This is where the Crane family lived. Beautiful. And here's the yard right in front of it. A lot of wide open spaces out in the middle of nowhere. Very secluded. Oh my gosh. That cardboard everywhere mm -hmm. right now. It's no, it's fine. The stairwell sort of resembles it, but no, I don't think it has enough room for what they were filming. It's a balcony. The steps goes all the way up to a, to a balcony up here. Oh, I see. Which would be the fourth floor. Oh. There's four floors here. Crazy. The caretaker has been very generous in letting us walk around the property filming. It's a beautiful place. I wish that they would actually have shown more of the property in the haunting of Hill House because it's just, it's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. So we're walking around back right now. Very lovely. And it's breathtaking. We're literally out in the middle of the Georgia woods in the middle of nowhere. There's another building right back here. Jessica's got her umbrella because the sun is insane today. You found a bumblebee? You found a bumblebee? Let's see it. There you go. Well, let's take a look at the back of this house. You good, Luke? Uh-huh. Don't forget the rule. Lights flash. Time to come home. My God. That's a breathtaking home.
You stay close now. Okay. Oh, uh, another question. That master key you had didn't work. You have any other ideas about that that red door upstairs? Oh, afraid not. Not 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 for that one. Just look at this place. Jessica just said that the property here, the steps and how everything looks is magical. And I agree 100% with her. So what do you think, Jessica? Do you want to live here? Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. There are some really cool documentaries that Netflix put out about them filming here. And there's one episode in particular where they built the interior of the mansion as well as the interior of the funeral home and they shot pretty much everything in one giant long take. Episode six. Episode six, I think it is. From the beginning of the show, they were planning for episode six. Yeah, it was gorgeous. It was gorgeous. You're they gorgeous. Did, uh, I think the longest non-cut was 14 to 16 minutes long. Something like that. And I think, mm -hmm. if I remember correctly, that was the longest cut, but I think there was like seven cuts all together. Yeah. Can one continuous shot? Unedited. Can you imagine unedited? Yeah. Jeez, this house. It was impressive. The, uh... Look at that shot right there. You and the steps. The steps, all the stonework here is phenomenal. I know. I mean, see what I'm talking about? Look at these steps. Each stone is individually placed perfectly. Beautiful. Right there in the front where you would park your car, it's like a drive through They had to have some filming, filming supplies there. We're not gonna bother them at all. This building right here was Shirley's house and also where Nell's funeral was held. The sister Theodora lived right down this driveway in that carriage house. It looks pretty much exactly as it did when they were filming here. Very, very cool. That would have been, in theory, where the funeral was held. I gotta go. I'm sorry, I just can't. Sure. And so for that bit of movie magic that we all love, and this one's a bit confusing, so follow me. The external of this house is the parlor, the funeral parlor, but the inside of the house they used for Nell's wedding. Now they're the second house in which they used the exterior for Nell's wedding and the interior of that house for the funeral parlor, but most of it was honestly a soundstage. And that's how this location ties in with the Crane Mansion because both the interior of the Crane Mansion and the interior of the funeral home were created on a soundstage because in episode six, they did the seamless shot, which is very impressive. impressive. A jinx. jinx. Oh. Ah, double jinx. Triple Buy jinx. Me a Coke. You know, no, dang it. Ugh. I said it first. Yeah, you did say yeah. it first. That was fun. We have two grim thank yous and shout outs to give. One of them is for the owner of the building who let us film while a wedding was going on, which leads us into something very, very cool. We arrived to do some filming and three gentlemen came up to us dressed in, a, in suits. And they asked us what we were doing. And basically we told the groom and the best man that they were getting married in a funeral home from the haunting of Hill House. The groom was kind of like, uh, but the best man was like, hell yeah. So congratulations to you guys. We didn't catch your name. Many, many years of happiness and bliss from the Grimms.